What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and this is going to be a tutorial on how to load levels. You'll have to excuse me if the sound quality is a little weird. I'm trying out a new mic. Alright, so uh, the first thing you'll need to do is create these levels. Uh, for the sake of uh, saving time, I have uh, created them from before. I'm just going to show you real quick what you're supposed to do. So you're going to start out with an empty scene. What you need to do is just place a couple of 3D objects. Uh, some quads, just duplicate them and uh, maybe a few spheres, uh, cylinders, capsules, whatever, just just place a few objects on the scene and then hit control S to save the scene, save it as level 01 then create another scene, uh, place a few objects somewhere else and save it as level 02 and then level 03 now this is what my level 01 looks like this is what my level 02 looks like and this is level 03 you can see it's a little uh, crowded it's uh, that's because I was uh, testing something out uh, anyways you, you don't need to add these many objects you can keep it simple alright then go back to level 01 uh, what I mean is load that scene and click file build settings hit add current then leaving this window open double click level 02 hit add current and do the same thing with level 03 hit add current then you can close the window and double click level 01 then press uh, Control shift n or uh, click the game object and click create empty that's going to create an empty game object name it scripts and then having that object selected hit Control shift a or just click add component and create a new script call it switch script 02 open it up in mono develop here in the update method type if input dot get key down uh, key code dot alpha one that is the number one key on your keyboard application dot load level all right now in load level you can either enter the name of the level that you want or the index the index is just a minute let's go back to unity and open the the build settings you see this number over here this is the index uh, in our case we are going to use the name of the level so level 01 now this is the first method that you can use its load level application dot load level let's see if this works actually no uh, you can't see if this works because you're already on level 01. Copy this and yeah, create an else if alpha 2 level 02. Alright, now let's go back to Unity and save this scene because we've just added a new object to the scene. Oh, and also before you uh, before you play the game uh, I forgot to mention this earlier sorry about that go to your level 02 and level 03 and delete the main camera object from those two levels don't delete it from level 01 just from 02 and 03 alright now hit play and when you press the number 2 key you'll see level 02 has loaded and also there's no main camera over here Alright, now what load level basically does is it destroys all the objects in the current scene and it loads whatever scene you're trying to load. Now, what if you want certain objects to survive? In that case, uh, you can use object, not that object, this object dot uh, don't destroy on load. In our case, camera dot main hit save 
and then play the game. When you hit 2, you'll notice the main camera is still there. Alright, so this is one way to load levels. Another way is to use load level additive. What this does is, rather than destroying the objects from the current scene, it adds the objects from whatever scene you're trying to load into this scene. Let's see an example. Uh, change load level to load level additive and hit save and then play the game. Now notice these four cubes over here, uh, sorry th these four quads over here. When I hit 2 the other objects are loaded and these objects are still here. They haven't been destroyed. That is another method that you can use to load levels and the next method is load level async. Load level async basically loads the level asynchronously in the background. This allows you to load all the assets of a, a given scene in the background while you're playing the current level. Load level async also gives you progress so you can display a progress bar using that that value. Let's take an example of something that can be done using load level async may not be the best example but yeah alright so create a public async operation called asop and then within this if statement write asop equals application dot load level async so and so now type asop dot allow scene activation equals false and down here debug dot log asop dot progress also add another if condition another else if change this to alpha 4 and delete this and change this to true. So this basically means that uh, allow scene activation will be true if the number 4 key is pressed. Now hit save and go back to unity and open your console window then hit play and you'll notice uh, many of these exceptions coming over here just click collapse and they'll all come under one category now click in your game view again and press 3 you'll, you'll notice a lot of messages from debug.log and they finally stop at 0 0.9 all of these are basically showing the progress of uh, the loading that was taking place and it stopped at 0 0.9 because we did not allow the scene to be activated and it's still on 0 0.9 now if I press 4 as you can see the level 3 scene has been loaded um, you won't see one over here because the scripts game object was in level 01 and we have used load level async not load level additive async so the scripts object isn't there anymore let's go back to mono develop and change this to additive additive async sorry and then play the game and press 3 it stops at 0 0.9 press 4 and you have one meaning the level has been loaded and it's activated over here so this is how you load levels i hope this tutorial was helpful do check out these other videos as well
the video on the top left teaches you how to create a 2D Mario style enemy patrol. The video on the top right teaches you how to create a parallax scrolling background. And in the bottom left is the Make a 2D Platformer game series playlist. I'm also accepting donations so if you would like to help me out you can send your donations to my PayPal email address which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time. This is what they say. Started out with nothing, then I turned myself to something. Everybody wanna claim a nigga when they hear you buzzing. Don't nobody wanna claim you when they hear you bugging. Not known to tell stories, not known for fronting.